listen y'all your life will go according to plan no matter what okay no matter who is trying to stop you there are so many people in this world that see other people growing and be being successful they love some people love it but some of these individuals they don't they begin to hate on you and not like you for what you're doing try to tear you down make you feel like you're not doing it the right. They will try to throw different words at you. Y'all will know, especially through their comments or through the things that they say, they try to throw slick little comments at you to make you feel like you're not doing it the right way or something is wrong. They will try to deter you from what you're doing, but you are able to keep a strong mind and keep your mind set on what you're after and what you're going after. See, these people don't want to see you going doing right. They don't want to see it simply because they have not gotten themselves in alignment to get them to do what they're supposed to be doing. They're more focused on you than they are themselves. Some individuals are really, really out here watching others grow and they spend their time doing the most just to get other people to stop. Y'all know they call them trolls, okay? They sit and watch other people thriving, but they have nothing else to do but sit at home and troll all day or to sit here and make you feel bad about what you're doing, to, to criticize you, to say something's wrong with you and what you're doing. But what's happening here is that some of them are trying to come up off of you. They will sit here and listen to you all day or listen to what you're doing, see the plans that you have, doing what you're doing in your business or at your job. They will watch you and try to, try to mirror you to try to do what you're doing. Many of them are focused on you because they want to be you. They don't know what the Most High has for them. They don't know what they have in their life, what's coming towards them. Most of us have a plan because we are the chosen ones. The Most High has shown us what we're supposed to be doing. We know exactly what to do. We've gone forward and sometimes we, got, we get thrown off track, but we get right back on there. And that's what they mad about because when you get thrown off track, whether it's something that they did or said to you to throw you off track or whether it just happened through mere circumstances, they expect you to stop and just give up. And see, it's upsetting to them because they don't understand how you're able and capable to keep going. You keep thriving. You keep coming up. You fall in and you get back up again. Get back up again. That's right. Type in the comments, I'm getting back up again. I get back up again. And as you get back up again and you continue to fight to keep going, to push yourself forward, to get to your business, your, your new job, your job, and to keep thriving at work and at school and all of that good stuff in your relationship and in your family. Even if you get thrown off, you always get back up again. It's, it's amazing how the Most High does his chosen ones. The chosen one always get back up. We always thrive and get back up again. I, I love the fact that we're able to do that because some people have given up on the things. They have fallen off and given up on life itself and said they, they're done. They actually left it alone and just stopped. But you, as a chosen one, you keep going. You keep on thriving. You keep looking towards the mark. That goal that you have, you keep going. And that's what makes some of these people not like you. But it doesn't even matter because we don't even care what they don't like. We just know that we're going to continue to keep thriving. We're going to keep pushing forward. You ever heard of the saying, mark your territory? See, the Most High has already marked your territory. He already marked your purpose. He marked what it is that you're going to do. It's already set in stone, your destiny. Nobody can change your destiny. The only person that can change your destiny is you if you give up, okay? Nobody's going to change your destiny. It's already set in stone. He has marked your territory. See, there's a place where we're supposed to be. And when we're in that specific place, things begin to move the way it should. But sometimes we get out of alignment. And that's what happens to those that are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They get out of alignment and they don't know what to do. If we're listening to what the Most High is saying, if we're listening to our hearts and minds and the spirit within us, we're knowing what to do. We're following that lead. We're going, we keep going and we keep thriving. I get so excited when I know that the Most High is touching us and he's making sure that we see things that is going on. See things that are going on. See, some of you guys, when you were born and when you, when you started to grow up, somebody in your family started to see you as you were the one to come and take over, over for them because they gave up. Think about it. Somebody in your family, 
that gave up on their journey because they didn't do what the most I told them to do, then you come in and you're doing what you're doing and they see you that you keep going. Sometimes that makes them upset with you. It's funny because I had the, what it makes me think of is the dream that I had last night, okay? So I was dreaming of my um, somebody in my family in specific and for some reason, I just started going off on them. I was like, um, you never liked me. Since I was young, people told me I look like you. They always told me, you are just like her. And I told her, I said, you never liked me from the beginning. I just started going off. I'm like, you never liked me. You never did. So I don't even know why. what made me just come out and start saying it. But it was almost as if I was releasing some tension that I knew about this person from the jump. I knew about this person from the jump. See, some people, they know that you came to replace them because, you know, they tell you, this is what my mom used to say. If you don't use your voice, you know, God will give it to somebody else and allow them to do it. So it was something like that. See, sometimes if people don't use their purpose or use the gifts that the Most High has given them, they lose it or they don't, they lose the zeal to do it. They may still have the, have that gift, but they use the zeal to use it. And so some individuals feel as though you came and came and took their territory. No, but the most high marked your territory. This is yours. This is your divine moment. It has nothing to do with them. It may be similar to what they're doing, but it's not the same thing. The most high has a different journey for all of us. And when you think about that person and you think how they have treated you all your life, they mistreated you and didn't do you right. You give it to the Most High because he already marked your territory. There's nothing they can do to take what you, the destiny that the Most High has given you. They can't take it away. There's nothing that they can do to stop the glory of God in you. You are graced. You are protected. You have been shown the way and you're doing it. And that's what makes them upset. Some people get so down because they know that you are doing things similar to them, but it's something that the Most High just came to set an example to these people that you are here to do it and you're gonna do it, right? That's just, okay, so let's think about, remember we were talking about King Saul and, and King David, okay? Remember that? Remember uh, King Saul, he didn't do it the right way. He was doing things very vengeful against the people and against God, against the nation. So the Most High took his anointing from him. He still had the gift, but he didn't have the anointing anymore. So he was kind of like chastised by different entities and he had to have King David to come play the harp for him to cause those entities to, to flee so he could be at peace. But every time that King David wasn't around playing that harp, he was getting all of that anxiety, depression, things were happening to him that he couldn't understand. So the thing about it is, the, the Most High had already replaced King Saul. Remember? He had already replaced him. And David was already king and King Saul didn't even know it. So when David came in, everybody was rooting for King David. They, they were rooting. Pop Saul killed his thousands, but David killed his tens of thousands. It was like, oh my God, you doing the, baby, you is amazing. You good, you Gucci, you got the gift, baby. You definitely anointed. So it was almost as if at that point, Saul began to get upset because he didn't understand why in the world are these people congratulating him and not me? Why are they giving me the least um, acknowledgement? He, he couldn't understand why things started to shift for him and King David was taking over. So he began to get upset and he set out an, he set out an agenda to get rid of David, right? So the thing about it is, that's what I'm saying. You have people in your family, around you, in your community, at your job, in your business that may feel like you came and took over. It was nothing that was taken over because King David was going to be King David regardless. He was going to be that and then some. Okay, that was already set in stone whether Saul thought he was taking over on him or what. Some people think that you have came and take, came to take over and doing things that they used to do. Oh, they trying to be like me. They copying me. No, indeed, baby. This is what the Most High did. He brought you here to show them the example of what they should have done in the beginning. Because, see, the Most High knows that you're going to be obedient. You're going to follow what it is that you're supposed to do. You you do, you do came to do what you came to do, and you're doing it. Okay? You're doing it, and that's on period. Ain't no copying. That's the thing about it. Some people get it twisted in their mind like Saul was. 
He had it twisted in his mind thinking that David was trying to take take these people away from him, copying him, trying to take his fans and followers. That's what he thought. But it was all God's doing. It was everything, everything that was happening was what God was doing in him. He was doing for David because that was his purpose. That's what he came to do. And that's what it is for you. You came to do this because the Most High sent you to do it. He's doing things in your life, even though you may feel like you have been chastised, gang stalked, somebody trying to take over your life, don't want you to be there. See, because David went through all of that. He went through it all. Yeah, King David went through it all. He and King Saul's son, he told him, look, Jonathan came to tell him, listen, my dad is out there to get you, man. He trying, he trying to send everybody out you. So he done told the whole community, the whole, uh, another whole different city, another state, all about David. And so when he would go to these different places in these different towns, he had people after him and he probably couldn't understand why all these different people were laughing him just like you. So maybe you keep moving or maybe every time you go somewhere, you're, you're getting chastised. Things are happening. Things aren't going right in your life. The landlord tripping everywhere you go and somebody messing with you. They tripping on you and your family. It's simply because they hit that, that hidden agenda was set out. Some people are praying that you don't even make it to your destiny, that you don't finish and that you don't finish strong. So they sent people, they prayed against you and asked for you to not be able to get to where you're going. But you have to understand that the Most High is gonna make sure that he validates you. He's gonna make sure he shows you off and show you off to other people, even though David kept having to run from city to city, from state to state, from different towns. He had to keep running, even though the Most High was still with him. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And those things that occurred, that happened to him, he could have felt like his life was over because he was getting ready. People were trying to kill him. This, these people were trying to get rid of him. He could have felt like, man, don't nobody love me. Don't nobody like me. I'm done. I'm, he could have gave up. But see, the thing, the fight in him was already in him because the Most High was in him, leading him. So he had to fight in him anyway. So he couldn't stop even if he wanted to. And that's what's happening to you today. You can't quit even if you wanted to. The Most High is going to keep showing you the way. He's going to keep leading you and showing you what you need to be doing. He's going to make sure that the purpose and destiny that you have on your life is set in stone. He has marked your territory and you're going to complete it and he's going to say job well done. Yes indeed he's going to say well done good and faithful servant honey because you are the chosen one and the most high is not playing about you okay. So understand just because you're going through that it may be just like how David was. Maybe he was king and he still was already having to run. It was things that he was doing, but he still had the most high with him. He had people helping him. It wasn't many, but it was it was few, but it was a lot of people after him, but he still kept going. He lived out his destiny. He became king, and he still was anointed, and he stayed anointed to the day he died. Do you hear me? He was a man after God's own heart. So you keep chasing after God. He's going to keep on making sure he's with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you, chosen ones. Do you know that? I love y'all so much. Don't let these fools stop you from doing what you're doing, honey, because your destiny is set in stone. You actually have, God has marked your territory and you shall get the rewards at the end of the day. Things are going to happen for you and it'll never stop, okay? Never stop. Type in the comments, I'm never stopping. I'm never stopping. Keep going, baby. I love y'all so much. Be blessed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. I love y'all. Thank you for all of the comments and the likes and all of the donations that you guys have been giving through Super Chat and Cash App. I love y'all so much for all of that. Everything that you've done does not go unnoticed. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Peace, love, and light. <laughs> Ooh.